Should be getting a CT scan soon. We'll know a lot more after that. He's not my son anymore. I only have one son. He died today. I can only imagine how angry he must be. He was drunk, wasn't he? Yes. His BAC was 0.08, just above the legal limit. Patrick was his little brother. They worshipped him. He could do no wrong. He just likes to party, Mom. Patrick just... just needed to be near him. He would have done anything for him including letting him drive drunk. My husband died 10 years ago. I have no one now. You think you can imagine how I feel? You can't. I'll leave you alone then. Conditioning unit, huh? She's still unresponsive. Down to 105 degrees. Should be doing better than that. Maybe it's inaccurate. She came in with hypothermia. Oral thermometer showed her at 108 degrees. I tried to get a line in to few fluids, but she keeps bleeding out the site. Ten units of FFP, a six pack of platelets, and ten units of cryoprecipitate. What's the one organ that cannot survive heat? Blood. And what happens to blood protein when it's heated for extended periods? It's nature's melts, basically. There's blood gone bipolar. One minute you have uncontrolled bleeding, the next you could have life-threatening clotting. The blood no longer follows any rules. But look at the patient. Bleeding or clotting? Bleeding, obviously. I got nothing. She's cardiac arrest. You've got everything. It's right here. What's next? Uh, ultrasound. Mark heart strain. It's a huge blood clot in the lungs. Pulmonary embolism. Star compressions. What are our options, Mario? We could break the clot with alteplase, but that could also worsen the bleeding somewhere else. Our treatment could kill her. Her blood clot is killing her. What's the answer? Great, now she's pulsed we got to push the alteplase. A chance is better than no chance. My thoughts entirely. Yes. Yes. 